Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Shopping List. Which is a horror game, where you've just moved into a new town, and you've got to really complete your shopping list. Don't trust a stranger. I'm really gonna miss my hometown. I hope moving to the city will give me more opportunities in life. Oh man, I almost forgot. I have to finish my shopping list before I crash at my new apartment. Game's got some style so far. And when I say style, I don't mean like, just necessarily like art. It's it's how you present what you're selling in a way. Press tab to check your shopping list. Press space to autoplay dialogues. Let the shopping begin. Milk. Um, we're never gonna end up getting milk because that would imply we have to go back. Uh, shampoo. Toy. It's not very specific. Hmm. Honestly. I could get used to living here. I just hope these stores are open at night. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad place. Chocolate at the toy store also. Printer paper at tech store. Flowers. Fresh meat. Okay, what do we got here? What's this store? Wasn't paying attention. Eh, whatever, we'll just go in. You know, you got yourself a lot of wasted space here, sir. Inefficient. Hey, wake up. Eminem? Uh, uh, choose your name. Manly. Manly, what a stupid name. What kind of weirdo would... This dialogue's fast. Anyways, what can I do for you? Uh, well, do you happen to know where the milk is? The milk? Yeah, it should be over by the soda and drinks corner. If not, just come back here and I'll check the supply stock. Now leave me alone and let me rest. What's your story in life? What do you have, like, milk? You're just, you're just standing there, or sitting there, rather, with milk. You really like that milk, huh? Milk out of Hey, you got my last milk! Hey! What's your problem? Hey, do you work here? No, I don't. But I'm actually hoping to get a job working here. Well, how's that working out for you? Not too good. Got fired from my previous job at the tech store. Why? Because they replaced me with a fucking machine. Nice. I'm sorry, but come on. Now people barely even shop there because they find the whole machine thing weird. Well, anyways. I'm going to continue to look busy so I can get this job. Good luck shopping, I guess. Alright, bye. But yeah, the dialogue seems to be, like, primarily on an auto-read. So if you end up skipping something, you know... Not my fault. <laughs> Give me that milk over there. Wake up. Did you find what you're looking for? No, the milk is out of stock. Looks like all the dads took it. Alright, no worries. I'll take a look back here for you. Alright, Jordan, give the customer the milk. No, it's my milk! Jordan, have me No, if they want my milk, they're gonna pay extra. Alright, so you're gonna have to pay extra for the milk. Hey, 
Hey, I'm sorry about before. I get grumpy when I'm tired. But I got any sleep lately because of, uh, you know... The disappearances that's happened around here lately. You don't know? We'll just take my advice and finish that shopping of yours before it gets dark. Alright, bye-bye now. Well, you... You, uh, need some sleep, buddy. That's one down. Okay. There is a person's here. I will talk to them in a second. Hey, you! Gonna need to see some ID before I let you continue down this path. Why? It's a strict security procedure that we have to follow after this week's latest events. Now get over here and hand me your ID. Shit, I lost my ID before I came here. Cheese it! Can I just... No, no I can't. Hand it over. Choose your reply. I think I'm gonna lie. Uh, my uh, dog ate it. Left my ID in the car. Just give me a minute and I'll be right back. Fine, just hurry up, will ya? Also, my eyesight's really bad, so you better not do anything cheeky with the card now. You think I'll find something that looks like an ID card in a dumpster? Or I'll just find my soul. What? What? Yes. Here you go, officer. Don't give long enough. Sorry about the uh, delay, but I got what you wanted right here. Let's take a look here, then. You should have you. It's a little blurry. Then we can look they used to. What? Your eyes? All oh, right. No glasses. Uh, you promised this is you on the card, right? Yes, of course. Look how swole it is. Sure. A piss off. You have a good day there, officer. Do I see anything weird going on? So, next up is... Oh, you want me to stop here and look at this music box? That's very random. This brings back memories. Is this gonna be one of those games? Yeah, it's gonna jump between timelines. He led her to his kingdom, where he was joyfully received, and he lived for a long time afterwards, happy and contented. Heart. Wow, wasn't that story exciting, sweetie? That was very good. <laughs> you're so cute. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, mommy. Hmm, why would the same music box be here? Something's wrong. But we'll see where that goes. Love your booty. Makeup. Um, I need... Shampoo. What a long face. Oh my god, like, hi, welcome to, like, the body shop or whatever. How can I help you? Hi, well, I just need some ordinary shampoo. Anything is fine, really. Anything? 
Um, yeah. Great, we only have three shampoos left, which is superb since you'll have any shampoo. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, great. No one has bought them in like two years or something. Don't know why, I think they are great. You can choose between Gust O' Greasy Gramps, Scott's Saucy Sham O' The Poo, and Basic Strawberry Shampoo. Um, Scott's. Ah, Scott's a Sham of the Poo. Great choice. Hmm, you seem unsure of the buying it. All right, you can try it out for free in the public shower that we have. Wait, what? Come back here after you're done. Bye. Who does that? Yeah, let me just go to your public shower back there and try out this shampoo. I'm not really, not really sure if I like if I'm I'm fully like on board with this shampoo. You know what I mean? I got I got to test drive this shampoo. Hmm. This shampoo smells like shit, but in a good way. Because I, when I want to smell like shit, I grab, I grab a Scott's Scotty's. Before we come into this one, I guess this is what I'll smell like the next couple of weeks. So, what you think? You gonna buy it? I guess so. Finally, I mean, great. That would be nine nine nine. I'll pay you five dollars. Thank you for your purchase. I was surprised that you're out shopping this late. You barely get any customers this time of the day because of uh the disappearances. The only one that's have been here today are you and some creep that looked at me through the glass window while you were showering. Meh, that doesn't matter really. Just be careful out there for me. It's not so safe being out at this time. Bye. Later. Is this Chris's blood? Timmy's toys. And you gotta make sure you get your toys out at night. If you know what I mean. Yep. Okay then. These are very specific toys, my friend. Oh, uh, hey. Huh. How can I help you? Well, I was looking for something cute to put in my new apartment. You got any toy or stuffed animals you could recommend? I also like a chocolate bar. Chocolate! Oh, let me take a look at these boxes. Meanwhile, you could do something for me. I'm sorry I'm in a bit of a rush. I don't think I can. If you want my help, you better help me back. Tubs have been busy lately. All right, what do you want me to do? You know that amusement sign by the entrance? It's supposed to be glowing, but the wire's all messed up. So I want you to check them out. Fine. Okay. Oh, look, minigame. Okay. I got it working. Wow. You actually managed to rewire it. Yeah, it was just a simple minigame. Yeah. 
What deal's the deal? Here's your stuff. Thanks. Hey, I have a quick question. Everyone I've talked to today has warned me about the dangers of being out there at this time. Is it really that dangerous for me to be out right now? Don't listen to them. People don't like when new people come into this town. They just try to scare them away of the usual reason. There's a killer on the loose, blah, blah, blah. It's just proper bullshit. Just ignore them and move on. All right, bye now. All right, just need printer paper and flowers and fresh meat. Kind of dark around here. Stand by my previous statement. So yeah. We're almost done. What's this? A rose. This brings back memories. 1979. Oh. Oh. I'm going to miss you. I love you, Mom. How old are we at this timeline? And that's when I decided to become Batman. That tech store should be close by. No, there it is. Not too many of you around nowadays with the old Amazon about. I'll take one of your finest printer papers. Why is there a mannequin here? Hmm. Oh yeah, they really mentioned like, oh, replaced by a robot. Thank you. Okay. I need a laptop, this, 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 and printer paper. Actually, that's highly efficient. I actually will give you credit. Thanks. Yeah, like when we got in and out of here, I mean, the future. Okay. Almost finished. Now we need flowers. Music got all like scary and stuff. It's a person. You better not be a mime. 
Yeah, that's right. Get out of your minds. Here's here, here is a little small thing. I can't bring up my shopping list right now. That's not good. Huh. Red tree. Hmm. Well, I mean, all trees are red in here. Flowers. Random. Missing poster. Ashton Garcia, reward $1,200. Yeah, you need more money than that. This place seems off. You think? Close rune. Jump it. Yeah. Breaking the rules. Ain't hey, nothing bad can happen to us for doing that. Hmm. Or does it really mean anything? Yeah, the flowers are here. The door is locked. Time to steal. Should be open. The owner's probably taking a break or something. Take it. I'll keep an eye out. Take it. Take this bike, too. I have a feeling this is the owner's bicycle. He must be in the store. I'll just knock, I guess. Hello? Hello? Don't- Get the fuck out of here! Rude. Hey, what's your pro- Leave my family the fuck alone! Take whatever you want, just don't hurt us! Sure. I'll just grab this rose then. Hey, free rose. Thanks. Now I just need fresh meat. Oh no, it's raining. Come on. I'll end up soaking wet before I get to the town's butcher. Take the bike. What? Hey. What are you doing out here in the pouring rain at this time? I could take you where you're heading. Just get in the car and I'll take you wherever. I could do with some company. I am a Let's Player after all. Trust me. Will you accept the ride? Yes. I guess that's fair. Up on in. Let's turn out the stranger's just like a nice guy. It's like, oh, you know, I just like helping out people. Hey, wait a minute. Look at that goofy motherfucker from before. Yeah, hi. Oh, what's up, Reuben? I mean, how do you know my name? From your ID. Oops. Anyways, so where are you heading then? I'm heading to the butcher down by the community park. Splendid. Well then, let's get a move on. What, are you off duty or something? Detective car? Just around the corner. This will be a short drive. Dash cam view. Somebody's gonna come up behind us. Hey, that car! That car! That truck is following us, officer. Officer! Look at your rear view mirror! Well, maybe we'll be alright. So how are things going? 
Um, they're getting closer. Did you, did you notice that? They were getting closer. When I look at them, they kind of like slack off, but... Okay, they broke away. We're fine. Well, here we are. Usually I charge rides like this, but I'll spare you from payment. Anyways, I guess I'll see you around. Have a good one. Oh, thanks, Ruben. Actually. You have a nice day. Or night. See ya. Useless. Hello and welcome to the Bastard Butchery. Hi. Don't be shy, have a look around. We have all kinds of meat. Meet me by the counter if you need help making up your mind. Alright, sounds good. Um, what do we got around here? Look, you got meat, you got meat, and you got meat. And trash cans. Meat. I can smell how raw this is through the glass. You got any of her, uh, meat? Have you made up your mind? Not really. I was hoping to ask you for your recommendation. Oh, well, personally, my favorite meat. The power just went out. What the hell? Power never goes out in this area. I'm busy as fuck, I don't have time to replace fuses, God damn it! Hey! Yeah, me do it. I'll give you the meat for free if you go back in my storage room and place the fuses. Yeah, that sounds like a good deal. Left some spare ones scattered around some shells. Yeah, sure, I could do that. Alright, cool, all the way here. Use a flashlight if it gets dark in there. You'll need three fuses. Once that's done, you just need to flip the switch by the fuse box. Thanks for the help. No problem, man. I mean, so far everyone's been pretty nice. This flashlight sucks, though. <laughs> Here we are. With all these Silent Hill cat foods. It's gonna be like Slender Man. Find the fuses! Don't turn around! Um, how big is your... You know what, whenever they talk about the back, usually it's just like a little small place with like... Like a... Maybe like a ploy break room or something, but you literally have... The back. Like when someone says, can you check the back? You have the back. This brings back memories. How could I ever forget? Dad, you monstrous fuck. You selfish drunk. Mom never did you any harm. Never did I. Both of you and I know Mom killed herself because of you. You ruined everything, you alcoholic fuck. I never want to see or hear from you again. I don't want to associate with you one bit. Fuck me even lie about my name to move on from you. Manly, who the fuck is- oh god. <laughs> Oops, rather than that having to carry the name you gave me. Claire. I didn't even tell my friends my real name. I'll be Ron and Hell Dad. Apparently we're Claire now.
Hey everyone, this is Claire. I hope that will clear some things up with everyone. Hmm, meat locker. A little bit messy in here, that's kind of unsanitary. Hey, where's the fuse? That's that. Hey, look how big this place is! He didn't afford a real estate in downtown for this. I'm not butchers like income. Shazam. Okay, well, good. Alright, time to get for my meat. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, wait! Holy fuck. I guess that's one way to meet your end. Now where am I going to get meat? I have to call the police. Is anyone around me? Hello, police? Hello? The phone lost connection. What I sell your music? I need to hide. The shed. Everything out here had a purpose. You can tell because it stood out color wise. Close and hide. I think they left. Or they're just prepping for a jump scare. One of the two. I have to get to my car. I can't stay her out in the open. I have to sneak into one of these buildings and exit through the back without making too much noise. The music is still playing and I'm a little concerned. I just have to make my way to the opposite side of the building. Take the elevator. Oh god, there's a person there. But it could just be a person, maybe they're just coming into like their apartment, you know what I mean? We don't know if that's a killer. Can't judge. Oh god, it's off as hell. Can't see much. This flashlight is fairly ineffective. I think I'll find something to use in the storage room. Where you can find nothing. Dad told me to hide here in the storage room. I don't know why he's so panicked. I hope he'll be back soon. It's cold in here. Um. I don't think there's anything of use in here. Nope. Nope. 
It's him. I'm telling you, it's gonna be like a twist. It's it's just gonna be just a guy. He's just like, I'm just going back to my apartment. Can't go back now. Stuck in a very slow walk. Still extremely hard to see, even with the flashlight. Like, I can see the ground. That's about it. There's something... Oh, I thought, I thought it was like a red light. That's, uh... Oh my god. I recognize these people. There's the music again. They moved into the sea to work for this company. They were the only ones that had night shifts. How do you know that specifically? Now they are dead. With a toy knife left in the crime scene. I need to get the fuck out of here. I mean, they just look like generic bodies to me. I can't really recognize anybody. Yep. Getting out of here. Exit. Is this Chris's blood? This is the same area where I entered this town from. I never noticed the gas station on the map. I must have missed it while walking to the town. My car should not be too far away from the gas station. I should check if anyone's working there in the convenience store. Of course they'll be dead. I need someone to call the cops and I might be able to get some gas for the car. I just have to follow the path up and then walk into the woods. The gas station should be on the other side. Or you can just cross the road. Yeah, that's an option. I don't think anyone's gonna hit you right here. There should be a path I can take into the woods at the end of this walkway. I heard something. Don't worry. We're fine. He's in dark woods. It's like a damn jungle in here. Oh, there's the gas station. Finally, I get some overpriced gas. Here we are. Hello, sir. I want some overpriced gas and one of your finest call 911s. Oh, thank God. I need your help right fucking now. There's this guy following me and I've seen dead bodies everywhere and I'm freaking the Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses there, Bucky. What's your name? I'm not sure, Bucky.
Whatever this matters. Let's go with Manly. See what happens. Manly. Right then. What can I do for you? I need you to call the police right now. I'm being stopped by killer as we speak. Huh. Nice try there, buddy. I know you all people are just trying to scare us outsiders because you all don't like newcomers in this town. Be quiet, Luigi. Just listen. This is not a fucking joke. There's a literal evidence all over this place. Really? Yes. Well, if you're so confident, then prove it. Take this camera and photo photograph one single piece of evidence. Show me the photo when you get back. That's so convoluted! Okay. I'm just gonna keep the camera. Screw that. I think I saw a missing poster by the right sidewalk. Okay, well, good. Whatever that accomplished. I got your evidence if you're still alive, by the way. You are. You're lucky. Here's your evidence. I believe you. I believe you. I've called the police already. I saw him by the window. You need to leave right now. If you need anything, just grab it and get out. I need to refuel my car. Can I get a jerry can or something like that? Yeah, sure. You can fill it up by the pumps outside. Please be careful. Your tune sure changed quickly. I guess I have to flip this very specific one. Fill up jerry can. I'll have to follow the path behind the gas station to get to my car. Wow, where do we park? Maybe in this way. You know, we really haven't seen. Is that the killer over there? Oh no, it's the cop. They got him. Well, everyone's dying. Hey, look, there's my car. We saw in the intro. Pretty beat up, though. Okay. Still controlling the camera. Why is my car slowing down? Stand in the gas tank! My tires have been slashed. I'm really close to my apartment though. So 
so I should be able to derive the last bit. And we're home. Nice. 404. Make cereal. Back in my apartment. Things are nice. It's relaxed. Gonna get some cereal. Mmm. Oh yeah, we need milk. Musty milk. Eat. Maybe we did get meat in the end. Take a shower. Sure, all right. Just take a shower. Do 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 do. Better not do a weird scare in the door entryway while I'm showering, cause I've seen Psycho, and that's a big cliche, cause showers are very dangerous. No, oh, hey, yeah, uh, fine. Turn on the news. Music's getting distorted again. That music always comes up. Hmm. Police officer Ruben has been confirmed dead. He was earlier this evening found by the gas station near Community Park with three stab wounds in the chest and two Oof. by the neck. The police have searched the area but have not found any more evidence to who could be the murderer. Well, go to bed. Nice night. Nice night. Did I knock at the door? Or am I just imagining things? Don't see anyone there. You know what's concerning to me? Yeah, I was about to say the back is open. You're just like your mother. Goodbye, Claire. Dad was never the same after the war. The PTSD got to him. Made him aggressive and lose sight of reality. He didn't even realize what he was doing. His natural war instinct kicks in and he gets tunnel vision. And even after so many years, it still kicks in. I guess that's the ending? Hmm. Let's see. There's the list. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hold up. We're panning over to a photograph. Well, the data's crossed out. Based on my mother's biggest fear. Hmm. So if I'm going to interpret the ending, I, I guess it's just the dad murdered us. That's the most simplest explanation. I'm trying to think if there's like another twist or layer I'm not seeing based off like 
some dialogues, maybe like the ending portrait. They mentioned that the story about missing people was just to scare outsiders. So maybe the dad followed us and became like the actual... Basically, they eventually, eventually had an actual killer because our dad followed us in so many words, so they weren't ready for it, and they were going to get cut off guard and murdered. Uh, it was a decent, decent enough indie kind of horror game. There was some good presentation. There were some good spots that were kind of done there. If I had to say there was anything, it just feels like... I don't feel like the link with the dad by the end as being the killer. Like, I suspected it was something connected to us one way or another. Because, you know, it's just too coincidental and all these things were happening around us. Uh, but I just never got, like... There wasn't, like, a story atmosphere set up to make you think, like, Oh, your dad's stalking you. Is he's gonna, like, finish the job or something weird. He did for the flashbacks, and... But those flashbacks never implied that dad was gonna, like, murder, like, 20 people or whatever. So, the shock of finding out the dad, it kind of, like, didn't link for me mentally too well. Uh, and I think the filters laid on a little too heavy. It was it was hard to make out some things, because, like, sometimes it was, like, really a little too dark and, like, a little too filtery. So it became more of, like, I was just wandering in, in the dark more than, like, sitting in the atmosphere. But, yeah. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching Play the Shopping List. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.